Hey Internet, I'm Colorful Artie, and welcome back to Paper Mario. So, we have a lot to do today. We have to go to Shooting Star Summit, but first we're gonna hang around Toad Town for a bit. Greetings, the name's Paracarry. I deliver letters. His name is Paracarry. He's a paratrooper who works for the post office. He's well known for being the slowest mailman around. A slow mailman? That can't be good. Poor guy. Yes, hello, this is the post office. You can read any letters that arrive for you or for your other party members. Please drop by now and then to check to see if you've received any mail. Well... Oh, you seem to have some mail. Which one would you like to read? Goombario? From the Red and Blue Goombas. Oh boy. Here you go. Goombario. You were a lot stronger than you looked. We figured you were just some punk Goomba hanging around with Mario. Anyway, you proved yourself to us, and you showed us that being good is as important as being strong, so... When you come back, do you think maybe we could be... friends? Please say yes! We'll be waiting, Red and Blue Goomba Bros. Aw, oh, that's nice of them. We'll keep the letters for you. Come on by any time when you want to read some letters. This is Paratrooper looks extremely serious, and stubborn, and hard-headed. If you have a letter coming, he'll give it to you. I wonder if he has one for me. You just read one. This is the central area of Toad Town, a plaza in front of King Princess Peach's castle. Pleasant Path begins to the east of here. This used to be a bustling area before Bowser's attack. Guests at the castle were always in and out. And the tourists came from all over to see the castle. The wizard Merlin also lives around here. If you get stuck, his fortune telling might just help you out. There's also a Toad House where you can take a short rest in a post office where you can pick up mail for your party members. Also over by the flower garden, there's a guy named Ralph who's opening his own specialty shop. Alright, I really should stop just using Gumbario's tattle all the time. I'm sure that's getting boring. Hey mister, you're a customer, aren't you? Dad's preparing to open up so shop soon, so I guess you gotta wait a little while. Hey, what's up? Good to meet you, bud. Ralph's the name. I'm starting me up a little business in Toad Town. I'm still setting up, though. I want to give you see you back here when we open, alright? Definitely come back. It's a bad shop. Water and dirt, sunshine power, beautiful blooms, beautiful flowers. Hello, my name is Min T. Well, please enjoy the beauty of this flower garden. I've heard there's a lovely flower we don't have here. Supposedly, bubbles are the have the only known seeds. This is what a bubble looks like. Just look at the picture right above me. If you find a bubble, could you get some seeds for me? I'll plant them in this flower garden and raise them lovingly. Absolutely. What a cute toad. Those toads are not cute, though. It's dangerous out there. I wouldn't go. Yeah, you shouldn't go. Nope, no go. Sorry, but no. Those are very evil-looking toads. He's a funny color for a toad. I've never seen him before. Hmm. Well, we need to go to Shooting Star Summit, so... And this is where the castle used to be. I can't believe that Princess Peach's castle was here just a little while ago. Wow! I was in the castle when it started to shake, but my lightning quick feet got me out. I know Luigi made it out along with maybe a few others, but everyone else was taken. That's not good. I love Shooting Star Summit. It also immediately turns to night. And the shooting stars are going on. Looking for something? Drop by Merlovely's place. I think I will. Actually, I'll drop by Merlovely's place after going to the real Shooting Star Summit. So first, what you want to do is go back here to get a star piece. <sighs> this area is just so beautiful. The colors, the stars falling down, the music. It's just gorgeous. And there's the man himself. Welcome, Mario. I've been waiting for you. Where are the seven star spirits? Our job is to grant the wishes of good people from our home in Star Haven, our place high beyond the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful Star Haven. 
they stole our prized treasure, the Star Rod, which we've cared for since the beginning of time. The Star Rod is powerful beyond belief. It can grant any wish. For as long as we can remember, Bowser has been making wishes like, for instance, I'd like to trounce Mario, or I want Princess Peach to like me. Of course, stars ignore such selfish wishes. As a result, his wishes were never granted. Bowser, that fiend. When he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the Star Rod so he could grant his own wishes. He seems content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear he will wish for more, and then terrible things will happen. This is the responsibility of the Seven Star Spirits to keep the Star Rod safe and use it properly. We must get the Star Rod back from Bowser and return it to its rightful place. In order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Sadly, right now you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all-powerful by making wishes with the Star Rod. It's terrible to behold. Once we Seven Star Spirits are reunited in Star Heaven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser even with his newfound strength. With our help, we can prevail. Mario, we are... Alas, we've nearly exhausted our power to talk to you. Although it looks like we're there beside you, it is only an illusion. We're using all of our strength to communicate with you over a great distance, but even now our strength is fading. We've been caught and are being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario. First of all, you must rescue us. In order to take the Star Rod back from Bowser and save Princess Peach, we need your help. Please, Mario. You are our last hope, and we will... Mario, looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. Do you think the princess is going to be alright? I'm really worried about her. Oh, that's right! Now we get to play as Peach! Which, as terrible as it sounds, the Peach parts are actually a great part of the game. It gives you a nice break. <laughs> Mario's probably hurt. Everyone's in prison. The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Something must be done. If only somebody could help me. Oh yeah, Bowser time! <laughs> My dear Princess Peach, how are you doing on this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high above the sky right now, even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. You know, Princess, as long as I have the Star Rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. You know the power that grants everyone's wishes? It's mine! Isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> Imagine what it's like down in your kingdom. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. Oh, how delightful. They deserve it for the way they've treated us Koopas over the years. Is there, like, kind of speciesism in the Mushroom Kingdom? If, you know, you want anything, all you need to do is ask me, Princess. I could grant wishes. Of course, I'll only grant requests that I like. Anyway, think about it. You take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. You watch yourself, Princess. You better not cause trouble. Bleh! <laughs> Well, that was generous of Bowser. Oh, please, if only someone could help me. Huh? Oh, it's one of my favorite characters in the Mario series. Hello, Princess Peach! Pleased to meet you! My name is Twink. But you're, you're a star kid, aren't you? How'd you get in here? I came from Star Haven to grant your wish. It's our job to grant wishes, you know. Oh, you came because I wished that somebody could help me. Yes, of course. Oh, that's just great. Thank you so much for coming. Here's my wish. Go right now and take the Star Rod back from Bowser, okay? Think you can do it? Uh, sorry. That's a little too much for a novice star like me. Maybe one of the honorable star spirits from Star Haven could grant a wish like that. I'm so sorry. Please ask for something easy, something a small star can do. Then, can you take me away from here? Everyone in my castle's been captured and I have to save them all as soon as possible. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. Actually, I just got a, a called up to the sky a day ago and I can't do big wishes yet. 
If I were a more splendid star, maybe I could actually help. It's alright. Don't be sad, Twink. Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming right now. Oh, Twink! Do you think you can find Mario? I want you to give this to him. And I love the expression on Twink's face here. This is a lucky star, isn't it? Okay, I'll do it! Princess Peach, I'll fly to the Mushroom Kingdom just as quick as I can. I love his theme, too. It's so cute. Oh, wait, Twink! Wait one second. Could you also... Please tell Mario that. I'm fine and he shouldn't worry. Okay, can you tell him that? Of course! I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach. Definitely! Now don't despair. I'll be back soon, so stay safe until I return, okay? Such a magical game. Mario, where are you? He's behind you. Alright, now we're gonna go down here. The reason I went up there is because I wanted to get another star piece. Because this is where you spend your star pieces. It's empty. Rats. Ah, my, my! Hello there, Mario! This spot is a little tight for fortune telling. If you want your fortune read, talk over the counter. So this is more lovely. She basically can tell you where star pieces, badges, and then upgrade blocks are. You have to pay her, though. But then there's me. I know pretty much where everything is in this game. Maybe not exactly where all the star pieces are, but I can't figure it out. I'm the famous Merlot of Shooting Star Summit. I collect star pieces. I have the biggest collection. Mister, do you have any star pieces? If you do, I'll swap some cool badges for them. How about it? Let's swap. Heck yeah. Which badges do you want to swap for? So I've got five star pieces, so there's the attack FX A. All that does is change the sound of your hammer. Pay off. More damage Mario takes, more coins he receives. Chill out. Prevents you from getting hit by enemies on the first strike. Pretty lucky, makes enemies fail to attack Mario every once in a while, and feeling fine. You know, feeling fine and pretty lucky take a lot of BP to equip, so I'm actually just going to get the first free. I'm going to exchange attack of XA for one star piece. The number of BP you'll need for this badge is zero. Is this the badge you want? I like how he tells you that. Yes, I also want pay off and chill out. Yeah, I think Pretty Lucky and Feeling Fine take 3 BP apiece. Oh, Gumbario, this group. If you see a, an exclamation point over your head, check over the object or the area with A. Yeah, and, uh... He's Mermo. He's about the same age as I am. Oh, really? I want to play with him when we finish our adventure. I guess he trades star pieces for badges. Merlovely, who's downstairs, is his sister. He's so lucky. Is Merlovely really that, like, hot? I mean, she's got long hair, so there's that. This is the house of an amazingly gorgeous woman, the fortune teller Merlovely. She's not that pretty! Merlo, who collects star pieces, also lives here. This house pulses with psychic power. Can you feel it? Feels weird. Feels like I'm floating on some sort of spiritual cushion. That's because you are. She's a gorgeous lady named Merlovely. I can't believe I'm in the same room with her! She foresees events and uses her magic powers to find what you're looking for. She's very accurate. I think I'm in love. She's incredible. Pinch me, will you, Mario? <laughs> Aw. Alright. Oh, better equip some of the badges I got. Hmm, yeah, I'll unequip that and get payoff. I like money. Yeah, so now my hammer makes that sound. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, so sorry. I'm in a huge hurry. Oh, it's... You're Mario, aren't you? Thank the stars I found you. He's so happy. How do you do? I'm Twink. Princess Peach asked me to bring something to you. Ah. Yes, here it is. Here, this is it. Take it. You got the lucky star. A star-shaped pendant lets you use the action command. This makes battles way more interesting and easy. That's the lucky star from Princess Peach! Now that it's yours, you can use the action command. May I take a moment to explain what the action command is? Uh, no, I'll explain it myself. 
This is important, Mario. I think you'll want to know about this. I already know. Okay, okay, great! I don't even have to explain! Once you understand how to use the action command properly, you'll be even more powerful. Terrific! You'll be much tougher in battle now. Here you are! Not Kami Koopa. What? It can't be! Were you following me? What a foolish star kid! I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous! I'll tell Kami Koopa. She'll shower me with praise. She'll give me a raise. Here I come! Oh boy. Alright, so now with the action command, I can do things like this. Jump twice for one jump. If you, you have to time the button press right, but once you get it down, it's quite easy. This is a Magic Koopa. Magic Koopas have used magical rods. Max HP 8, attack power 3, defense power 0. Magic attacks are no joke, Mario. You better take these guys seriously. Also, now I can defend against attacks. That one's hard to defend against because of the weird timing involved. Also, now that deals more damage. And Goombario himself can also headbomb twice. Goodbye, Magic Koopa. We'll be seeing more of them much later. And tougher versions. Well done, Mario! You're as strong as they say. I know that you'll be able to defeat Bowser. I'm going to return to Princess Peach's side. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell her you're okay. Well, Mario, see you later! He's so adorable. Oh dear, I almost forgot to tell you the message from Princess Peach. I'm alright, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. I'll get the feeling, though, that she's very lonely. Anyway, I'll do my best to help the both of you. But please be brave. You must save Princess Peach. We can always get Luigi to help. There he goes, back to Bowser's castle. What a brave little guy. Okay, Mario, let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Oh, Mario! Merlin was looking for you. He lives in that house with the spinning roof. He asked me to tell you to go meet him at his house. I was just about to go look for you, but there you are. It's rare for Merlin to call somebody over to his house. He's a bit eccentric. Even when he has visitors, it's rare for him to come out of his house at all. Really? Merlin is out! Why do you keep on knocking? I tell you, he's out! What the? Why is someone sleeping in front of my house? Wait a minute. That face seems very familiar to me. Oh, maybe. No. Yes, it must be. You're Mario. I've been waiting for you. You should have come earlier. Well, you're here now. Come on in. I knocked on your door and you wouldn't let me in earlier. Also, I adore this music. Where to begin? My name is Merlin. I am a wizard. When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important, and it concerns you. But before I tell you about it, there are some other things of which I must speak. It's a very long story, but I'll try to shorten it. Where should I start? It was in the old days. One of my ancestors was up on Shooting Star Summit, and as usual. But one day it happened, he was suddenly great, appeared, and I, standing face to face. Then the far away, the pious was raised me up. It was amazing. I was still so young then. I believed in, but our hearts were. And then so. And that is all that matters. Huh? Hey! Mario, were you listening to me? Wait a while, Mario. Oh, alright. So anyway, that is why I'm able to help you. If you get lost during your adventure, you can come to me. I can predict the path you should take for a small price. Right now, your main goal should be to save Princess Peach as quickly as is humanly possible, but, according to my second site, your path must first take you to the Great Fortress of the Koopa Bros. To reach the Koopa Bros Fortress, head east on the road in front of the Toad House. It might be hard with the various evil toads there. Also, if you try going down to this part of Toad Town, 
These building materials were, used to be stacked by the road, but they all came down when that earthquake hit. Unfortunately, it's impossible to go to the south side of town with all this scattered wood. Don't worry, we're restacking it as quickly as possible. I know it's inconvenient, but please hear us out. Please bear with us while we get everything in order. Once we beat the first world, we, we'll be able to go down there. Yeah, I'll take a nap. Did you sleep well? You don't want to go out there. It's way too dangerous. Going to the Koopa Bros Fortress would be a huge mistake. Definitely, definitely don't go. Most of all, though, you shouldn't go ask Old Man Merlin for help. That would be really bad news for us. I, I mean, for you. Don't even think about it. Something's really here. He's a stubborn and mysterious old man. His name is Merlin. He uses magical powers to look into the future. I've even listened to his stories before, and they're really long. I try to pay attention, but sometimes I fall asleep. Still, his fortune telling is supposedly right on. I don't know personally, but my Goomba told me. Come again? Strange toads blocking the east side of Toad Town. That shouldn't be. That's ridiculous. Such a fate has never been heard of. Never. I'll get to the bottom of this. Follow me over there. I'll see what's going on. Oh, Dane. Oh, Dane. Yeah. I told you that you shall not pass. Take off! Hmm. You aren't toads, are you? Um, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what gives? Ask anyone. We're just cute, ordinary toads hanging out. Reveal your true selves! Hmm, just as I thought. You're the Koopa Bros. Wow, how'd you guess it was us? We were perfectly disguised. Shucks, black, yellow, green, we retreat for now. Mario, those imposters went over, over than the Koopa Bros. You must pursue them to their hideout, the Koopa Bros Fortress. Oh, Mario, there's one part of your fortune I haven't revealed. To get to the Koopa Bros Fortress, you'll need help from a blue-shelled Koopa. This is a strange portent. In Koopa Village, you must find something that will clear it up. I must return home for now. Alright, Chapter 1, Storming Koopa Bros Fortress. Let's get going! First off, Koopa Troopa enemies. So, first I'm gonna take out Mr. Goomba. You can see how the batter battles are much more interesting now. This is a Koopa Troopa. Everybody knows Koopa Troopas. They're Bowser's followers. Max HP 4, attack power 1, defense power 1. Their shells are hard. If you can flip them over, their defense power will fall to 0, and it will become much easier for you to defeat them. You can also flip them with a POW block or a jump attack. So that's... Uh, ah, the hammer. That's pretty easy. Really head bonk. Now, oh, nope. Yeah, so for the hammer now, you have to hold down the left stick until, like, the big button highlights, then release the left stick being held. And you'll do a powerful smack. Then for jumping, you just have to press A at the right time just before hitting, hitting the enemies with the first jump. And you'll do a second one. Goodbye. And I like how in this Paragoombas, if you kill them and before, while they're still Paragoombas, they just die instantly. They don't fall to the ground first. Take that. Yes, so hold left. Release left. The hammer's really easy to use. The jumping takes some getting used to. So does the defending. Uh, for a long time, my family and I didn't even know you could defend in the game. 
so that made the game a lot more difficult. And we get the Dizzy Attack Badge. Delivers a blow that makes an enemy dizzy and unable to move. You have to spin in to them to do that. That makes it basically just easier to get the first strike. And we get a Fright Jar. Makes a scary spirit appear and chase some enemies away. But you will not get star points for that. So I'm not a big fan of Fright Jars, to be perfectly honest. And we get a Pal Block. Wow. Well, I mean, I'm not going to use the Pal Block <laughs> that much. There's nothing I'm really saving it for. Do 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 do. Goodbye, Koopa Troopas. Once you know how to kill them, they're really easy to take out. Oh boy, switch. It's a spiky Goomba. Uh oh. Should have saved the Pal Block. So, in times like this, I've already tattled on the enemy and I don't want to jump on their heads for so I'll take damage. That's actually wise to do nothing. Yeah, you'll see I defended against that and so it only dealt one damage as opposed to two. Successfully defending lowers the damage done by one. So, enemies that would deal one damage don't deal anything. Enemies that deal with, say, three damage would deal two, etc., etc. Take that. Good time to get the payoff badge when I'm not really taking damage in battles now. Sleepy sheep. Hey, doofus. Aw, oh, man. Oh, yuck. That's not good. I actually think I will use the sleepy sheep here. Because I don't want that spiky Goomba to deal a lot of damage. Funny thing, though, is you can beat the enemies up and they will not wake up from the Sleepy Sheep. So, the Sleepy Sheep can be useful, it's just... only in certain sort of situations. There are a few parts of the game where it's like, Sleepy Sheeps are amazing! Ooh. Oh no. Did not get that many coins from that. Toad Town left, Koopa's Fortress right, Koopa Village down. We want to go to Koopa Village. Okay, these three blocks, if you destroy them in a certain order, you'll get a badge. That was not the order. I don't remember it off the top of my head. Can it be? Are you Mario? Welcome to Koopa Village! I wish we could really welcome you, but we're in big trouble. Can't you see what kind of madness is going on? This village is in an uproar because of the fuzzies! Oh, I hate fuzzies. You do know what fuzzies are like, don't you, Mario? They look like this. They were in Mario World. They were really annoying. Mean guys. They're really naughty. Oh no, stupid fuzzy, get back here with my shell! Yeah, that's rude. Oh, thank you, Mario. I owe you one. I just can't walk around without my shell on. Talk about embarrassing. Mario, be sure to keep your shell safe from the fuzzies, alright? Oops, you don't have one. Well, watch your overalls. Wow. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> you got a dried shroom! A very dry mushroom restores 1 HP. <laughs> yeah, that's a great item. Apparently that guy can't jump. I 
kind of, I'm kind of sad for him. Oh, you're the best! Thank you very much! Yeah, no problem, dude. Curse those stupid fuzzies! They put my shell on the tree! How can they be so mean for no reason? That was my best shell! Relax, dude. Thanks, Mario! This show is made to order, that's why it fits me so well. I mean, how cool do I look? Much better than the other Koopa Troopas. Really? You look fine to me, Mario. Are you sure you want a nap? No, I'm fine. Please come again. It's Koopa Village! Big surprise! Koopas live here. Recently, it seems like more ba some Bob-Bombs have moved here, too. They must have run away from the fortress, huh? <laughs> no comment on the fuzzies jumping around. Okay, here we've got some different items. Dizzy Dials, it works, dazes, and paralyzes all enemies briefly. Volt Shroom, electrifies Mario briefly and damages enemies who touch him. Also, mushrooms are cheaper in Koopa, uh, Koopa Village. That's good to know. And we get a Koopa Leaf. A leaf found a Koopa Village. Restores free FP. That doesn't sound that great, but believe me, we'll be using those a lot. You must listen! The Koopa Bros in the fortress worked us too hard. As far as they're concerned, laborers have no rights. We will never, ever go back to work in such a terrible place. We're bob -ops. We just ran away from the Koopa Bros fortress. We thought we'd at least find some peace here in the village. Boy, were we wrong. The Fuzzies are running wild around here. All we want is a little peace. Supposedly, these bob recently ran away from the Koopa Bros fortress. Of course, fiends aren't much better here in the village. The Fuzzies are running wild. Poor little bob -ops. Huh? Me? I don't leave my house because I can't bear it if the Fuzzies made a fool of me. They'd probably take my shell and play with it. I know that I don't look cool without my shell. Nope. No thank you. I'd rather just stay here and listen to my music. So normally I'd save and quit here, but we're in the middle of, uh... Something. Ah, uh, I don't- I don't need this many Koopa shells. Okay, this this fuzzy's tough to get. You have to walk very slowly. If you just chase after him, he, you will not catch him. Thank you! Typical Mario style, you're just as cool as I heard you were. Oh my. These fuzzies, will their mischief never end? My husband is never here when there's trouble. My husband? Oh, his name is Colorado. Yeah, you've heard of him. He claims to be a famous explorer. Who knows if it's true or not? He runs his mouth a lot. <laughs> his poor wife. Well, what a world! My favorite shell! I just washed it! A fuzzy put it up there! How will I ever get it? Please help me to help it. Oh, we gotta push this block around. And bam! Problem solved. I might have known! You're so clever, Mario! Aw, oh, thanks, man. That was weird. There we go. Oh, a fussy came out. I like how the houses look like Koopa shells. What's the world coming to when a Koopa can't even step outside for fear of fuzzies? I've lived many, many years, but this is the first time I've seen anything like this. That's Koopa Koop. We'll be seeing a lot of him. Who's there? I'm kind of busy right now. What? Wait, could it be? Aren't you Mario? You are! My name's Cooper! Oh, I'm so psyched to meet you. you us meeting here has got to be fate or something. I need a huge favor. I hope you'll help me out. This wild fuzzy took my shell, which next to my life is the most important thing I have. I can't go out without my shell, period. Way too embarrassing. You're out without your shell right now. The problem is the fuzzies are too fast for me to catch alone. So if you don't mind, can you help me get my shell back? I'm begging you. Hey Mario, it looks like he's in a bad way. We ought to help him out. Yeah, totally. The fuzzy that took my shell is just inside my house. I'll guard the door while you grab him like whoop! Sounds good. Oh, uh, me York! Actually, you know what? I want to tattle on Cooper because this is the only chance we get. It's a pity that he's missing his shell. How embarrassing. His name is Cooper. I wonder if he'll be our friend for life if we got his shell back for him. Yes, he will. He'll get become our next partner. Alright, stupid fuzzy, get back here.
Get back here. You can fight other fuzzies along the way, but I don't recommend it. They're way too annoying enemies. Meork, Meork. Come get it if you can, yeah, yeah. Meork, guess where I'm hiding? Oh, gee, I wonder where. Mio, not bad, chump. But that was just a warm up. Meork, guess where I'm hiding? York, New York, you got me twice? Must have been luck. Now I'm serious. New York, guess where I'm hiding? Me, oh no! I give Uncle here. Take this stupid shell. You got Cooper's shell. You're too tough for me. I won't be bad anymore. I promise. Maybe. This part of the forest is in the fu is the fuzzy's main stronghold. The woods would actually be quite beautiful if not for the fuzzies. The light's nice. Do you think the Koopas do the walking around here? Maybe that's why the fuzzies hate them. Mario, there you are! I realized I have to take a stand against these fuzzies. If I can't get my own shell, I'll lose my reputation. I don't even care that I have no shell on. I'm gonna show those fuzzies what's what. We already got the shell back. Oh yes, yes, this is my shell, all right. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I got my shell back. Uh huh. You're the greatest, Mario. I owe you big time. Good to hear you're happy. Say, Mario, I have an idea. Do you happen to know Professor Colorado? You just heard about him from his wife. Naturally, he's a Koopa who's a professor of archaeology. He's also known as, of as an explorer. Are all archaeology professors, like, secretly explorers? Apparently, there's Colorado, there's Indiana Jones, and there's Nathan Drake. Right, well, I live next to him. I've been admiring Professor Colorado ever since I was in my egg. Nothing would make me happier than traveling the world, solving mysteries like he does. So, do you think, could I? Please take me with you, Mario. I'll help. Come on, let me go. What do you think, Mario? Don't take. Oh, come on! You gotta! I have lots of skills. I work well with others. Really, please take me along. Yeah, okay. Oh, yes, yes! I'm on my way! I swear, I, Cooper, will follow you anywhere, even to the ends of the Earth. Cooper, join your party. Press down C to make him throw himself and reach an item or switch in the distance. While in battle, he can attack an enemy on the ground with Shell Toss, or attack all enemies on the ground with Power Shell. When you want to switch your partner, press right C and select the member you want to use. So now Cooper can do that. Cooper's ba he's not as good as Goombario, I feel, because he he had basically has the hammer, as opposed to uh, the jump, and I find the jump is more useful. Me York! I changed my mind, sucker. How about a fight? And this is the only time we're going to fight fuzzies in the game. So we better tile on them. This is a fuzzy. Why do fuzzies always jump up and down? They need to chill out. Max HP free, attack power 1, defense power 0. The problem with fuzzies is their quickness. It's really tough to time their attacks. If they latch onto you, watch out. They'll absorb your HP. Yeah, they suck the, your, your HP out. Do I have a fire flower? No, I used it. Darn it. I'm pretty good at timing the attacks, though. Darn it. Oh man, this episode's going on for a long time. Alright, we're gonna go to Cooper. And use Power Shell. Because <laughs> that's pretty good. Disgusting fuzzies. It really is worth it timing all of these defense moves. Goodbye, fuzzies. Cooper got his revenge. 
New York, no! We'll be good. We'll be good. Yeah, you will. All right. This episode's been going on for far too long. We're at like the 40-minute mark now. Oh, before we do though, showing off Cooper's skill a little bit. We get the HP plus badge. Increases maximum HP by five. Mm, it's great if you need more HP, but honestly, I'd rather have BP than HP for the most part. You also get a lot of them in the game. There are three. Alright, well that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in for the next episode. We're going to be going to the... Oh no! No. Hang on. Quiz! Check is most the name, and quizzes are my game. You want quizzes? I got them! If you can manage to answer my brain-busting questions correctly, then... Yeah, yeah, yahoo! I'll give you a star piece! Wanna try for a quiz? Yeah. Then let's go to the question! Question. What is the name of Goombario's younger sister? That would be Goombaria. Correct! You correct, congratulations! Use your star piece. You got the star piece. You've correctly answered one question so far. Good luck next time. Well, well, so long. Farewell until we meet again. So that's Chuck Gizmo. He's a worm. Basically, he'll randomly appear in like a few locations. It's totally random which one he'll appear in. And if you talk to him, you, he'll give you a quiz, answer it, you get a star piece like you saw. There are 64 quizzes, so I'm guessing there will be a whole episode or two just dedicated to me tracking him down, finding him, and uh, answering the quizzes. Because, let's be honest, the odds are you're only actually going to find him naturally in the game probably around 10 to 12 times. So, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm Color40. Tune in for the next episode. We're going to Koopa Bros. Fortress. Have a great day, and God bless. <laughs>